With that, it's my honor to present Jamison Durrell, 2011 Full Sail Hall of Fame. I'll try to keep this short. I've only got about 12 pages of notes. Uh, Jim, thanks a lot for that. I really appreciate it. Uh, full sale. This place is incredible. Um, and this event, I, I didn't know what to expect. And this is just off the charts. I mean, thank you, Gary. And uh, Jay Noble and everybody else that's been a, a part of putting this together. It's just absolutely amazing. And to the video crew who made me look a lot better than I probably should have. And I, I appreciate some of the things they did not put in the video uh, that I was afraid they would. Uh, um, you know, it's, uh, I look at the Hall of Fame members in the current class and before, and uh, it's pretty humbling. I mean, these guys have done some incredible things and have some incredible achievements, and it is definitely very humbling to, uh, to be up here. Uh, but, you know, the, the school is, such an amazing place. Um, I, di I didn't know what I was going to do about learning to make video games. And when I first heard that they that they had this program here, it was like, uh, I'm, I'm going to I want to see what this is. And when I stepped foot on the campus, it was just like this is where I belong. And um, it, it really feels like a family here. So it's it's uh, I'm just happy to continue to be a part of it. I'll I'll try not to get too emotional. Um, so, uh, the, the video showed that, uh, that my mom would, uh, allow me to do anything that I wanted. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I, I warned most of the people that, that I knew that I probably was going to get emotional up here, so at least somebody was prepared. Um, uh, but, um, you know, I, I was able to try lots of things and figure out what it was that I wanted to do. And, um, and all those things that I tried, I, I do remember, though, uh, the one thing that I would do a lot of was play games. And I would hear my mom a lot say, why don't you do something more productive? So, so uh, I, guess, I guess in that regard, uh, you know, I... I did what I needed to, to, to kind of get where I'm at. Um, uh, you know, um, we, when I came here, um, I, I didn't know where, how I was going to do this. And, you know, my, my cousin Martin brought me down. He believed in me, showed me where to, where to, how I could start to achieve the dream that I had even when I was a little kid. And, um, but I, it, it was up to me to take that opportunity and really run with it. And I devoted everything I had to this place when I was here. And that was a lot of long hours, and uh, which prepared me for the industry because that's a lot of long hours. Um, but, you know, it was, it, the great thing here was the program was still in its infancy. I was in one of the very first classes. Uh, but um, the teachers really cared. They really wanted all of us to succeed, and it showed. And it was just awesome to, you know, to, to be a part of that and to see, you know, be around people that had such great devotion, which, you know, that ingrained a lot of that in me as I went forward. Uh, a couple of months before I graduated, I met my wife, Sarah, <laughs> online. And uh, <laughs> at, at the time, it was, uh, we got a lot of crazy looks and people said, you only meet crazy people on the internet. And because uh, <laughs> there wasn't really online dating at the time. Uh, but I remember she told me a story once, and she was talking to her parents and describing this guy she met who is going to school to make video games. And uh, her, her dad asked, can he actually make money doing that? And as it turns out, Randy, yes, I can. <laughs> but, um... You know, Sarah's there with me from the beginning, 
And um, it was really hard. Uh, the first few jobs didn't last very long. Uh, they were, it was difficult to find work at times. And it seemed like as everything was constantly changing around me that there was one thing that was stable. So I really appreciate that. So um, I have worked with some incredible people uh, throughout my career and been very lucky, uh, including the guys with, at Volition that are here with me today. Uh, um, it's, it's interesting how you can make lifelong friends uh, in this industry. Everybody's really laid back, mostly, um, and, and most of the time, too. Uh, but, you know, it's even from the first job that I had uh, almost 11 years ago now, it was uh, those people I still have contact with today. And, you know, it's, it's amazing how you can still get jobs and refer, you know, referrals of other people through, through those kind of contacts. It's amazing. The thing, the thing I love most about the industry itself is how exciting it is. Um, we are con things are always changing, whether it's the project you're on and the, the stages that it's going through, uh, or just, you know, when you end something, that something new is right around the corner. So, you know, with my seemingly ADD personality where I want to be doing something new, I get to, and I don't feel like I'm stuck in something for too long. Uh, but, you know, I, I really feel like I'm, I'm doing what I was what I was born to do and what I love to do. And I, I honestly don't feel like I have worked a day in my life. And um, the, the last thing I'll say is that um, I tell my son, sorry, that he can do whatever he wants to do. And uh, I know it's true because it happened for me. Thanks.